Hey guys, today I wanted to give you a summary of some of the notable news that has been, has been, it's hard to say it, has been affecting our community today. So we have an issue with judges and community members, Magic the Gathering judges, being connected as sexual predators. I have said before that you know, if a sexual predator serves their time uh, to the society, then that's great for them. But there is probably a reason they are registered. There is a registry for life. And we wouldn't want them around, I wouldn't want them around children. And, you know, when you have teachers and judges who have power over other individuals, especially those who are younger, younger individuals who are more likely to listen to doctors and teachers and judges because they're, you know, they have been taught that at a very young age. It leads to a very dangerous circumstance. On the other hand, we have this guy and he's very creepy. He tells Jeremy, I'm just saying, be careful, man. You've shown your guns online. They know you're armed. Don't want to see any thing bad happen to you. This is a very high, a very serious level of danger to Jeremy's well-being. It's not appropriate at all to say this to him. And it kind of uh, leaves me a little saddened by the, by how some people are very dangerous. Um, you don't know if that person that you're playing against can throw their deck at you, or maybe they take a gun and shoot you. It's possible. I mean, it's creepy, beyond creepy, but hey, better be safe. Uh, Jeremy says, I demand that Wizards of the Coast organize the requirement that all store, store owners and judges submit to and maintain a recent background. I do agree with this. Uh, a lot of this news is so... Strange to me that they haven't already done it. The system is not in place and the system will be abused. If you think of organization, so assume that you are, not assume, imagine a sexual predator just being released on parole and they can't be a high school teacher anymore. Hopefully our high schools do a good background check. They can't be a middle school teacher anymore. Hopefully these have background checks in place to make sure that sexual predators are not in, in these locations with children. But could they be a Magic the Gathering judge? That is what I fear. I, I, I'm really scared of that concept where if a Magic the Gathering judge does interact with many children and they do have a power role over those children should they be the judge at that event. So, uh, knowing what I know about Magic the Gathering local game stores from my experience in Williamsburg and New York and Pennsylvania, people drop off their children to play, and then they pick them up. Uh, they drop off their children as if the, the local game store is a babysitting club. At the Groovy Gecko store, uh, they had, we had free children at all times. Every, fri every Friday Night Magic, it would be uh, two boards between eight to nine. I don't actually know how old they are, I'm guessing. And then a female who is about like five or six who really loved magic. And their parents would just drop them off and, and they would play magic and it would be great. But, you know, who who's in that store? Obviously, you know, I was in law school. I wouldn't have let anything happen. And the quote, law firm that I was in, end quote, uh, the prosecution, the prosecutor of what Williamsburg or whatever that the district is, was my law firm manager, end quote. So, and they all knew that. So it wouldn't, uh, his name was Nate. It would have been very, very foolish for them to do something when I was there. Like, because I meet the prosecution, the prosecutor once a week for our quote, fake law firm meeting. And they all know who Nate was. Uh, Nate's been to the store too. So at the end of the day, I am highly concerned. I am highly, uh, as, a, as 
a Magic the Gathering person who goes to FNM, maybe if you only go to Walmart or a TCG player, this doesn't concern you and you don't really care because you don't have a local game store. But I do have one and I do care quite a bit because safety should always come first, especially the safety of children. Uh, I know that these judges are not compensated very well, they're not paid real money, they're you know paid boxes and promos and all these kind of garbage things in my opinion. But man, we need a high standard. This the standard cannot be. Uh, I'm gonna be get criticized for this because people will say, "Oh, people change. People change." The standard can't be sexual predators, right? I I don't know how else to say it. It just cannot be the standard for a judge. Like, if you are on the sexual predator registry, you should have your judge application denied for the sole purpose that you will be judging little kids. You will be a judge and possibly a role model and possibly in an area where there are children who play magic. The more children we have who play magic, the stronger the game becomes. Our game is dying. It is dying because the younger generation has no interest in card games anymore. They have League of Legends. I mean, League of Legends every year has like, their viewer base has like, 10 x every year. Well, like in 2017, it was probably because they did it in China and China has a lot of fans and maybe that, you know, that um, kind of increases the number more than normally. But I mean, if you talk to a new kid and you say, hmm, Nintendo Switch or this card game, but this card game is going to cost you a Nintendo Switch every time you build a new deck. Hmm. Probably Nintendo Switch, because they could buy a Nintendo Switch every rotation, right? Or like five games every rotation. So at the end of the day, I do feel like us as a community, we have to... In New York City, they had something, they had this like advertising campaign, see something, say something. I was an orientation leader, and we made a lot of jokes in that at NYU. So if you see something that's kind of a little creepy, say something. Don't let it go. Just be like, hey, dude, what are you doing? Like, hey, like, stop. And I, I'm gonna segment I'm gonna segment it into another area that is not, you know, not involving children, but involving female magic players. Female magic players are creeped on super hard. As soon as Presley took over to Instagram, this guy from Abu Dhabi just like creeped on her super hard. And I know what you guys are saying. Oh, MTG Lion, you only have female magic. I have a significant other. And she is, you know, if I'm a lion, she's like a tiger, right? And we've been together for a long time. We went to NYU together. And we were friends back then. So it's not like <laughs> she would... Okay, she wouldn't stab me, but I would, I would, I would regret doing anything super creepy because she is not a person I would mess with. She's kind of scary, to be honest. But at the same time, she's also a very successful professional who has made, uh, who has been on fashion magazines that I'm not going to name here. And I keep it on the down low because private life is private life. And actually, if two individuals make X amount of money. I'm not going to tell you exactly how much we make, but it makes sense for them not to get married because it's actually a tax penalty. So we would be under that tax penalty and hence why we're not married, right? Because we would be under that penalty. So a lot of times people say, oh, Isabel this, Maddie this, Presley that. I mean, I want them to inherit the channel, at least part of the channel. Because A, that would free up a lot of my time. And B, I think they would you really like them. Because they are positive. They want to learn about magic. Um, unfortunately, Isabel was affected by the Hurricane Harvey. So she had to move to a different state. But she would have been a perfect uh, person to take over the channel. Uh, it's just an unfortunate series of events. But yeah, I mean, as soon as Presley took over the MTG line, it was just creepers creeping and we have all those screenshots so it's not like I'm making this up and once Presley gets healthy uh, she has the flu right now we'll make a video on that really creepy guy from Abu Dhabi I don't know if he was from Abu Dhabi 
Uh, but he's from like uh, United Arabs. I think that is Abu Dhabi, isn't it? Abu Dhabi is the capital. Anyway, it's just very creepy. Um, and I'm sure that C played at Battle Bunker. I can tell you Battle Bunker was a super creepy place. Like the owners were creepy. The magic dude was creepy. I think his name, I forget what his name was, Sam. Like he always kind of seemed mm, not, cro there was something that's not, wasn't right. Like, remember, I'm not like an average magic player. Like I tell you, Tolarian is not the average magic player because he makes a quarter million dollars and he gets plane tickets to everywhere where we have to pay for it. I'm not an average magic player either because I have a YouTube channel. So people might treat me a little differently than how they treat Presley. And she has some really interesting, the reason I want to bring her in on this channel is she has a, such a different, unique view on Magic the Gathering. I'm very jaded because I'm MDG Finance. And a lot of you criticize me for numbers and being greedy and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, what do you think MTG Finance is? It's paywalls. <laughs> That's what it is. Anyway, so let me know. Uh, I know that was a lot of topics, but this is kind of a news-esque channel now. And I'm going to continue because I like it and it's interesting to me. And I will try to be more... I need a second, I always needed a second foil. So I needed someone who's positive and really happy and loves magic to foil my personality, which tends to be more negative. And I've been, I've told you that. And it's because I remember happier times when I played magic. And I hope we can go back to those happier times. I'm hoping MTG Arena is that. I really did love Magic, uh, what was that, Magic on my iPad? What was that called? Magic Duels? Duels of the Planeswalkers or something like that on my iPad. I thought it was a fantastic game. I really wish they uh, kept modding it or kept giving it new sets, but they stopped supporting it uh, just kind of randomly out of the blue. Without, like, t uh, they didn't tell anyone, and then uh, that was very sad. Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.